Yahweh is not in the Bible. Friends, there are more than 5,000 gods, but even then none of them could be compared to E. Whom is known as the Most High, and whom is called the Holy One, and whom is also known as Christ and the Sovereign King and the Almighty E. Friends, and even though the name of the God Yahweh is not in the Bible, there are many people today in all the nations them of the world who are worshipping these false gods. And even with all of their hearts and their souls, and even many in Christendom, they are earnestly worshipping God whom they are calling Yahweh, and whom they believe is the true God, and so they are worshipping Yahweh as their God even though both Yahweh and Jehovah are contrived names for the same God, whom they are calling the Mighty God, and Old God God and God Real and whom is also known as Shaitan and also Satan and Ibli or Ebli in the many regions of the world. My friends isn't, this what is called idol worship? And also confusion? Because Christ is called E. And E, is the only one. And whose name is called One. And, E, is the true Holy One. And E, is the true Sovereign One. Whom is the Righteous King? and whom is not like any man-made idol or god right? Yet many in the world are worshippers of Yahweh and Jehovah and also many of the other gods that are in the world. Be it, the god, celacy, and Yah and the worshipping of the elements, and the abstract objects of nature, like, the gods of nature, like, the sun god, and the moon god and the stars, in astrology and astronomy and also the worship of the many elements of nature and of revered things and objects and abstract objects and relics and revered images and also graven images that are of the effigies of the many deities and are of the many different mythological man-made gods and goddesses. And idols that are being worshipped in the nations them of the world. And even of all the many different lords and gods and of the many deified leaders in the many religions, and also of those that are out there. And also of the others that are in the many regions in the world. And are of whom well-known gods and idols, and all those that are effigies of the well-known leaders of many religious people and persons of wealth and influence and stature in the nations them of the world. And even today in the many religious and non-religious people who are in the West and who are in Europe, and in the Middle East and also in the Orient they are worshipping these inconsequential objects and idols and deities and the goddesses and the obelisks, and the effigies of deified men. With their black magic and their witchcraft and sorcery and by the idolomancy of the Lord Jesus and their favorite God, even Chaitan whom is also named God. And who is the God of this world? But whose name is different according to what religion or religious sects that you belongs to or whom is called by a name which you believe is the true God. And a name that you believe in. Or a God to which many religions in the world worship and adhere to, and to a God, that many choose to worship. But friends, the God, Yahweh is not the only God, that is not mentioned in the Bible, there are many others, and even though there are other gods that are mentioned in the Bible, like the name of the God Jehovah, and Yah, and Allah or Allah, and also, Bel or Baal and Jesus, but, friends, this does not make them genuine nor does it makes them equal to Eluhimi. Whom is the true sovereign king, and whose name is, the Most High, and whose name is sacred and holy, and whom is called the Almighty, and whom is also known as the sovereign king of all the heavens and the earth, and whom is the one, and the only sovereign one, whom we all should show our reverence, and whom we all should bow down in obeisance, and be in awe. Because he, is the only one whom we all should be in awe, because he, is also known as the odd. Friends, from the time we were born most of us were baptized into the religion of our forefathers, and we were presented to a god, are to several gods. And some of us were presented, even to old god god, whom is also known as Satan. Friends, it's time we all see the error in the worshipping of God, because the people who are worshipping God are called idol worshippers. And all those who are worshipping their gods would soon see the error of their ways, and the error in serving old God God whom is also known by so many other different names, and whom many thinks is the Almighty God, but, Friends this is very deceptive and perhaps some persons would never see through this humongous lie before it is too late. Friend, it's time that we learn about the truth. And about E. And Elu. 
whom is the only one whom resembles the glory of our sun in the heavens, and whom is the person of preeminence and the light of the world, and whom is called by the name, one, and whom is called the Almighty, or the Almighty One, and whom is the sovereign king of all the heavens and the earth. Friends to learn more about E. Whom is the only sovereign one, and whose name is called One, and the Holy One. And whom is the only one whom is the omnipotent and whom is the absolute sovereign king, and whom is the only one whom is called the odd? Because he, the odd, is the sovereign king of all the heavens and the earth whom is worshipped and is lauded and is praised, and whom is loved and is adored, and whom is acknowledged and obeyed, and whom is overawed by all who are in the heavens and the earth. Just for being he. And because of ease. Greatness. And because of ease. Holiness and ease. Sovereignty, and because, he. Is above all gods, and also because he. Is above no man whom is called old god god and god real, and for being called the old serpent and the old dragon, and death, and the destroyer, and Apollyon and Abaddon and also Shaitan and Ebli, and whom shall be sent to his destruction in the lake burning with brimstone and fire, after he came out of the bottomless pit where he was once in banishment and imprisonment. And whom is the evil one, whom is now in the world gathering the nations of the world, to go to war and to fight against the almighty Eeluhimi? And whom would be vanquished by, Eeluhimi, whom is the true sovereign king? And whom is the only true sovereign one, whom is over all who are in the heavens and the earth? The End Thank you friends, please visit my YouTube channel which is called The Pure Gospel of Elohim. And to learn more see the link below which shows the Tetragrammaton, or the acronym which stands for the name of God, and which teaches one a lie about the sacred name and the connivance of the name of God. Thank you. The End, To Be Continued